Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So we're back here in the parlor. I've already cut the templates for the wallpaper, and there is a window behind that piece of wallpaper on the wall, but I will just cut it out when I get to that point around the frame. So let's go ahead and start pulling all these elements together. Now here I want to bring your attention to those areas that were splintered and cracked where I had to add the wood putty to support the wood. And now that it's dry, I will be sanding it down before I add the wallpaper. So let me turn my attention to the fireplace for a moment back at my craft table. So I have this piece of cork that has adhesive backing on it, and it kind of looks like stone to me. So I'm going to use it to cover the platform base for the fireplace surround. So I cut it to size and used it to cover the top portion of my platform base. Now, dolls, you know I didn't measure it. I just laid it on top of it and cut around the borders of the platform base with my craft knife. Now, I did have it to pass over it a couple times to get a nice clean cut, but it worked out really well. Make sure you're cutting on a surface that you can't damage when you're using your craft knife. Now, dolls, although it had adhesive backing on it, I did use my Gorilla wood glue to make sure it's secure because I don't want this coming to loose later on down the line. I also weighted it down so it would dry absolutely flat. Now here's my chimney breast. I did make it previously with some foam board. Now in this case I did do a little measuring. So now I'm ready to go ahead and add the embossed paper to the sides of the chimney breast and then I will be using the maroon paper for the body of the chimney breast. Now I did choose to make a little split at the bottom of the chimney breast to make allowance for when I put the mechanism in to light the fireplace. Now dolls, I really do love the maroon wallpaper that I've chosen, but I've gone back and forth regarding the brick embossed paper because it's different from the other brick and stone on the house. Now dolls, you know I love making bricks and rocks, but I thought this would add an interesting twist to the dollhouse story to have a different brick here and in the hallway of the Roman house to the music room. I believe the difference in the bricks lends to the idea that the house was renovated to become a Roman house and that different bricks were used during the renovation or repairs. So that explains why we didn't use the egg carton field stone bricks and rocks in these two projects. Now I will leave a link in the description so you can see that video about the egg carton bricks and rocks. Now after I was done smoothing the maroon paper onto the chimney breast, I went back to check on the background part of the fireplace. And I am cutting out a small area, approximately one brick space, to leave room for the wire for the actual fire. Now to be totally honest with the bricks on the side dolls, I feel like there's something missing, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Dolls, I'm really unsettled about the fireplace and the chimney breast. I'm really not sure what it is. I definitely feel an urge to play, which is usually what happens when I feel like I'm lost on a project. I need to take time to play to figure out what it is. Always remember, dolls, that your imagination blossoms in the midst of play. Don't neglect to take time to play with your dollhouse. It will guide you to know what you really need to do. Now, I've got my templates all cut, but I still need to do a little bit of work on those doorways. So I pulled out my handy Dremel, and I have like one of the sanding bands on it to just smooth out and shape out that doorway a little bit better so everything fits nice and smooth because you want a nice smooth foundation for when you actually apply your wallpaper and begin to decorate. Now, dolls, I'm going to bring you in close looking at the door. And I realized there's a big gap, if you can see my finger and my fingernails between the door and the wall. So that's why you have to be patient and take your time before you start gluing things in. You always need to step back and observe and make sure things look right before you make your final decision. So I ended up using a little foam core and some mesh tape that they use for drywall to build a little small wall piece to fill in that gap around the door and i'm just showing you here now it's nice and dry and i'll be able to wallpaper that piece on that side which will push the door over more so it'll close up the gap on the other side so dolls i tried to zoom things in here 
So you can see now that that piece is on the other side and I filled in the gap, it's pushing the door where it fits against this wall better so that when I add my trim, there won't be a gap. You won't be able to see through to the other side. Now here I am back working on the bricks. Now I did cut out some of the paper and take some of the individual bricks to put on top of the corresponding bricks to add a little bit of dimension and texture to the surface of the bricks. It's really nice embossed paper, but it was a little flat looking to me. So speaking of flat looking, I had a little problem with the depth of the fireplace itself. I couldn't figure out what the problem was, and then I realized it after I glued this black piece of strip around the outside trying to create depth. In the meantime, I went on to paint the actual fireplace surround. Now, my original idea was to do something that kind of had a marble effect with some designs and stuff on it, but I felt like there was a lot of uh, texture and design already going on with the room, and the fact that the surround was very ornate in and of itself, I simply used my folk art linen colored paint and just dabbed in the colors around all the designs and intricate details of the fireplace surround. So dolls, here's a quick glance into the Roman house parlor. Now that the wallpaper is up, I've also added the trim to the window and filled in and touched up around the window. Now I do have a tree sitting there in the corner dolls. It's going to need a little bit of help, but I just wanted to put it there as a placeholder to get an idea of how it would look prior to me enhancing it. And dolls, here is a full view with the fireplace. I've changed the fireplace to give it a little bit more depth. I will show you in another video how I created that look, but I do want you to see that my chimney breast is removable, so I will be able to put my um, fire element behind it and conceal the mechanism that causes it to work. Because remember, dolls, my house is not electrified. I do use battery lights. So this was just to bring you up to speed on what was going on in the rooming house parlor getting ready for the Christmas season. So I hope you dolls enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know in the comments. Also like, share, and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.